on, bottom end, bottoms on top. Y'all, there are 40 songs competing at Eurovision, but you can only give your top points to three in this video. So let's go around and say who our number three is, starting with Denise. My third favorite this year, for now, <laughs> is Sweden. Um, last time I had him in fourth place, but after seeing him live and seeing how charismatic he is, he's back in my top three. Um, the song is also great without all the screens, and he looks so nice, and yeah, I absolutely love it. So he needs to be in my top three. So they miss, this may sound a little silly, but my third place is Australia. Ha ha. Um, the, when the song was released, it didn't really do much for me. And then when he started doing his live performances, Glass Sebastian really nailed it. And it's kind of convinced me to go, you know, to actually root for my own country in the one-off participation that we have for now. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that, that would be my third place right now but it is subject to change day after day after day elnor keeps moving up my scoreboard azerbaijan is my third favorite to win eurovision song contest 60th anniversary <laughs> So this is a really, really difficult one. There are about six or seven songs I would put at number three, including Armenia, Greece, Norway. But my third place, my eight points, my huit point, go to Albania. She's alive, I'm alive. I know there's been some issues with her live performances recently, but I think she's gonna sort that out before Eurovision and peak at the right time. Cause y'all, there is nothing worse than climaxing too soon. It pisses everybody off. But I think she's gonna get her timing right and she's gonna bring it in Vienna. Now, time for our second place, 10 points, Denise. Uh, Estonia is still my second place. I mean, they are amazing. Their video clip is so, so good. I'm believing every single uh, single thing I see in it. And um, with the live performance, it's just like Albania. It isn't that great. Um, but I'm sure we haven't seen a lot of live performances of them. And the last one is like weeks ago. So. I'm pretty sure it will be amazing this time. I know they have the voices and they only have to um, yeah, sort things out together. I want to see chemistry and that is the part that is missing, but I'm sure it will work out. They are great and the song is good and yeah. <laughs> Um, I give my 10 points to Sweden. Um, my ensemble love is incredible. The song is catchy. The staging is polished, but maybe slightly too polished. It's a little bit too shiny and the reflection's hurting my eyes a little bit. But like it's, it's catchy and it's fun and it's almost at the top, but not quite. There's like one that slightly edges above the rest, which we'll discuss later. Mm -hmm. I better let you go. To find the prince you thought you found in me. Norway is my second favorite. Second, second favorite. In, in fact, I love them so. This is killing your darlings, but we have to do a ranking. Norway. My number two is going to a lady who is bringing some Burkina Faso realness. She is perhaps the most famous singer in Riga of African descent. Yes, she is Aminata Sabadogo. This song is so current that it's the future. It is so avant-garde. It makes Margaret Berger look pedestrian. Her voice, this is not the voice of the year. This is the voice of the decade. You cannot fault her. She is pitch perfect. When she sings, I think glass is gonna shatter, but you know what? I want that glass to shatter if she is singing. I really think that Aminata has put Latvia back in the game for the first time in forever. This will go to the final, and a lot of people are saying it'll put people off, but no. Juries will eat this up because it is current, because her voice is perfect. I wouldn't be surprised if this manages to sneak into the top five. I really wouldn't. And if it doesn't, I'm going to call all y'all racist or make up some excuse because it deserves to be. <laughs> William, tell, the, tell our viewers about Supernova when we were there. You know what? 
In <laughs> Latvia, it was like an earthquake. When she sang, everything was shaking. We were in this tiny studio with no water. We had to use the toilet, but there was no bathroom. But you know what? We pushed through. We pushed through and suffered because we were not going to step out of that room to miss Miss Aminana Savadogo. <laughs> Okay, I just, it was more than a supernova. She was like this giant black hole that sucked us all in, and I was just living it. I was like, keep me in this black hole forever and a day. Now listen, we need to move on to our 12 points, our 12 points. Who is your favorite to win, Denise? Azerbaijan. <laughs> he is really, really good. The song is just amazing. The first time I heard it, I was like, oh, this can be the winner. And it's Azerbaijan. And they know how to make a big show out of it. They will find a way to make that big choir. And Elnor is so, so good. And when he's singing it live, the song keeps changing. Uh, he keeps making different high notes, but all of them are really good. So I don't know if he's going to improvise on stage this time, um, but it will be good no matter what. And forgetting his words in Amsterdam, I don't <laughs> care. It was heaven. It was amazing. And yeah, really good. <laughs> <laughs> Whilst I agree Azerbaijan is incredible this year, my number one is Norway. I love Moreland and Deborah Scarlett. I love A Monster Like Me. It's simple yet strong. Um, I love her big hair and her, and I love their style. It's very kind of um, op shop chic. I don't know if you have op shops there, but <laughs> anyway. Um, it's incredible and it's yeah it's so easy to listen to and it builds right at the right moment and i absolutely vouch for norway this year 12 points la norvege was a point williams number two is my numero uno this year aminata savadogo latvia 2015 literally kills it her live vocals <sighs> You might as well just copy everything William said and just paste it in my box. There's nothing more to add. Latvia 2015, all hail. And you had a chance to interview her backstage in Riga. Could you tell us about that? I had a chance to interview her backstage. I had a chance to interview her before she went on stage, after she went on stage. The photo I took with her was trending in Latvia. Everything about my experience encapsulates everything I think of Aminata Savadogo. She's completely amazing. I interviewed her again in London. You know what? It's funny. She's actually, in terms of charisma and how she interviews, you know, she's very much about the music. She doesn't get this whole camera angle side of Eurovision. Uh, you know, th th there's a rawness, there's an organic feel to her. You don't get a sense of her being extremely polished. I don't think that should score against her. I mean, Latvia hasn't qualified for what eight, nine years. This year, they're gonna—they should find themselves in the top three at least, top five at a push. But they should not have any problem qualifying. This is beyond, as William puts it. What did you say? It was beyond the future. Yes, <laughs> this is love injected. It's music injected. It's talent injected. Oh. Oh, Lord have mercy. Now, <laughs> my number one, this was so hard, you guys, because, I mean, all the countries we've named, I really love, including the ones we haven't mentioned, Estonia, Armenia, Greece, Norway, etc. But my number one goes to an animal on the prowl. He's on the prowl for a victory. It's the hour of the wolf. It's Azerbaijan. This song, I had the privilege of hearing it before they had revealed it to the public when they were internally selecting. And the moment I heard it, I knew this was not just a song Azerbaijan would send. I knew this was a song that could contend for the title. I think they've got a lot going for them in terms of voting. Turkey's not here, so the diaspora will get behind sister state Azerbaijan. I think this song is radio friendly. I think the song has a soul. The fact it has that choir, I'm from Atlanta, and to me it sounds like an African-American soul choir in the background. Ebony the Baptist church girl. preach preach <laughs> and like I was filled with the spirit of music of love of life and you know what I think he actually understands the lyrics and he's thinking of a story because 
When he sings, it's real. It's not just pop, I've been given this, let me sing. He has chosen a story from within and he is letting it ooze out. I feel this. Miss Denise Van Beek and I are on the same page. I would yes. not mind Baku 2016 because this is deserved. This People complain, oh, a Swedish person wrote it, blah, blah, blah. But Elner has Ooh, made it his yes. own. Exactly. Elner yeah. owns it. That wolf is on the prowl. He can take a chunk out of my arm because he's already taken a chunk out of my heart. High five, William. It's over. It's a fake 